guys or welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video as you can probably tell by the title it's going to be about my favorite products um so some of these products have been released last year and then some of these products were released this year but all in all i love using all of these products um hence why they're in my favorites video but if you'd like to see what my favorite products are then carry on watching okay so this cleanser i have been using this cleanser non-stop ever since i first tried it out and it's the drunk elephant cleanser i can never pronounce this cleanser um sly slay sla i don't know i'm really butchering it but it's the makeup melting butter cleanser this one is like a balm kind of uh, texture and then once you rub it into the palm of your hands it turns into like this oil consistency and it's amazing for removing all of your makeup any dirt anything off of your skin even stubborn eye makeup it will take it off um the huda beauty life liner comes off so easily with this as well this one i feel like it's like it's giving me skin kit at the same time so I feel like my skin really benefits from using this cleanser it's a lot more clearer it helps me not to break out I feel like it really helps calm and soothe and smooth out my skin as well okay so while we're still on the topic of cleansing I thought I'd mention the wishful skin yoglo enzyme scrub so this stuff at first felt well not felt but I kind of thought is it or is it not like a gimmicky kind of product um but it isn't it actually works and i feel like it really helps balance out my skin tone so i use this um between two to three times a week and it's so good at just taking off all of your dead skin cells and that first layer of skin and really kind of like evening up your skin tone smoothing everything out it's great for like smoothing out your skin texture as well um i've noticed like even afterwards your skin kind of develops a natural kind of healthy glow it looks like it's really clean but not obviously too clean where it kind of feels really really dry as well that's when you kind of know that the product is quite harsh when you have that stripping drying out kind of feeling after you use it but with this one i don't feel like my skin's drying out or anything like that it's just so good for like giving a youthful glow like as it says a yo glow and with the yo glow i feel like it's really really gentle but yet so effective like it does a lot it's quite strong so if you or well, i feel like if i use it more than three times a week it really peels my skin and my skin will get really really dry so it is quite a strong product um, that's why it's only recommended to be used once or twice a week but I like to use this uh, about three times a week I think it's so good for like exfoliation because it's quite gentle as well so I'll just oh, quickly show you it comes out like a creamy texture and then once you rub it in it'll start to peel and of just go into your skin it's kind of like rubbing a cream um the grittiness is not that gritty so it's really really gentle um that's why you can probably think that you can use this quite a lot but it is quite strong and you'll feel like your skin is really really dry after as well and it might start to peel if you use too much of this um because it is quite a strong product but it's so gentle and I feel like it really, really, really gets in there and gets the job done. And can I just mention the smell? The smell is so fresh. It doesn't actually smell like pineapple because it's meant to be like a pineapple enzyme scrub. But I don't really smell the pineapple. It's quite floral and fruity. It's beautiful. So another thing I thought I'd quickly mention, I wasn't really going to mention it before, but... Um, as I use it all the time it's these face halo uh, makeup removers so I have the pro black and I have the original ones I'll just show you what they look like so this is the original one and I'll quickly show you what the pro and the pro one is just like a black pad so I basically use these um, when I've washed my face I kind of drench um, one of these under the water 
squeeze all the excess water out and then wipe my face with it so it removes any product um, it's great for taking off any mask as well so if you do wear a lot of masks you can take your mask off with it um, I'll take my cleanser off with it I take the Yoglo enzyme scrub off with it like it's so good at taking anything off um, and even makeup you can just use it by itself obviously damp but you can wipe your makeup off with it as well and your makeup will just come off but I'm the type of person that likes to go in with the cleanser make sure everything is off but you can actually use these wipes just by itself to remove the makeup um, but yeah I always use these to like kind of dry my face and take off any of my skincare products just to take off my cleansers it works amazing and I've never actually stopped using it and I don't kind of like just splash water on my face and then dry it with a towel anymore ever since I bought these so these are actually really really good so for my next product it's the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum I love this serum and sadly mine is actually finished I have nothing left i miss it so much this stuff actually smells like pineapples by the way but i love this serum the way that it kind of as the glow nourishes and retexturizes my skin it's amazing it is expensive i think it's about 46 pounds for this tiny little bottle it's a 30 ml bottle um but i've been trying out this viola vitamin c I have it here is this anti-aging vitamin c serum by viola skin um just to kind of see if it's the same if it's better it's not it's really not i don't like this one at all i really miss the way that this um, would make my skin look and feel it was really 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 good really good actually and it really brightened up my skin as well it actually lived up to what it said it does it really brightened and cleared up my skin um this serum is freaking amazing and with this one you only need a teeny tiny um bit of the serum and it just spreads so easily and this one i feel like it's a little bit more well it's less hard to kind of spread around and it feels a little bit more watery and it kind of dries down a little bit mm, i don't know in a weird way this one i really feel like it's beneficial to my skin whereas this one i don't really feel like it's done anything to my skin and i've been using it for about over a week this one I noticed the difference within the first week of using this like just a few days I noticed the difference in my skin this one I'm still waiting for the benefits to just reap in so I don't really know if I'm going to wait to finish this whole bottle I might just go ahead and just repurchase this one because this one even though it's a little bit pricey you'll see the benefits from this actual product and you'll feel it see it working okay, so next up I'm just going to move on to makeup now and I'm going to talk about foundations and I'm saying foundations because I couldn't just pick one um, I have about four foundations here so I have the EX1, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Pat McGrath and the Omi Beauty foundation so these four foundations I feel like they all do similar things so with these foundations I feel like they're very similar they're all very similar but they all have a different kind of finish towards the end which is why I couldn't choose just one but they all have that one thing in common which I actually love and it's like a skin like finish so it doesn't so it doesn't look cakey and it doesn't look like you're wearing too much makeup so with these three foundations the Oma Beauty Pat McGrath and the Anastasia ones I would say these are more on the higher end side and the EX1 foundation um, is more of like the cheap and cheerful drugstore so with the EX1 foundation I would just use this to like maybe go to the grocery store or maybe if I'm just running errands I just don't want to feel like I'm too run down I would use this foundation and this one actually lasts such a long time on your face as well it goes well with so many of my other products like my contouring products my highlighter setting powder it works so well with many of my products that's why I've kind of put this into my favorites and it's cheap as well it's only about 12 pounds or is it 13 pounds between 12 to 13 pounds for this foundation um, and it lets you know when you're running out so this raises higher and higher as you're running out which is a great way to let you know when you are running out so you can stock up before you do run out and the finish for this foundation I would say it's more of like a satin matte um, it's matte but it's not 
too matte but it does have great staying power um, it doesn't flake or crack or crease or anything like that so it's a really great product to kind of have when you don't want to be using your more expensive foundations and then with these three foundations they would be more on the higher end range for me so I'm actually wearing the Oma Beauty foundation today and I really feel like it gives a flawless coverage the great thing with this foundation it's so comfortable to wear even though it's a matte foundation so it claims to be like a soft matte so it's matte but then I feel like it really moves with your skin um, it doesn't crease or anything so as you can see I get quite a deep line when I'm talking but then when I'm resting my face it doesn't crease or settle into any of the lines that's what I mean by it moves with your skin so it'll still kind of continue with that flawless finish this is why I love this foundation um, the other two the Pat McGrath and the Anastasia one these two are very similar um, so they have that luminosity they're more of like a hydrating foundation they're not matte whatsoever um, but they're so great they're very similar but this one I feel like is a little bit more thicker than the Pat McGrath. The Pat McGrath, it really kind of, I don't know, it's not like a full, full coverage. I would say it's like medium to full, so you can build it up and it does not get cakey. You're able to build this product up to whatever coverage you want. And the same goes for the Anastasia as well. But the Anastasia one, I feel like you get a little bit more coverage um, straight away than the Pat McGrath. The only difference between these two foundations is that the Pat McGrath looks slightly more like your actual skin than the Anastasia one. But they both do like exactly the same thing it's just that this one is like 62 pounds so it's more pricey even though this one is like 42 pounds which i think is still quite a bump for a foundation like usually foundations would be around 30 pounds but this one's 42 pounds so this one's still like a lot more pricier than what your usual foundation would be and this one's like 62 pounds but i still love both of them equally and yeah that's why they're my favorite but yeah, I honestly love both of these foundations. They're so good. And they're great for like mixing with each other as well. So I've mixed all of these foundations with one another and they work so good, even better than by themselves. But sometimes when you want that extra coverage or you want to play around with your foundations, I feel like they're so good at mixing with each other. So for my next products, I wanted to talk about palettes. And I really feel like Morphe has up their game in palettes. I remember the Morphe palettes that I had like back in the day. I remember I had the 35O. Was it 35O? It was the one that was all orange and had a few shimmers and it had a few mattes in there as well. It was mainly like an orangey brown palette and the pigmentation wasn't quite there yet. The packaging of the palette, it wasn't quite there but now I feel like they really kind of um, stepped up their game and made their palettes and their eyeshadows so much better so i haven't actually tried another morphe palette since then um apart from this one so this one is the 39l hit the lights palette by morphe and it has like such stunning colors in this palette so you get like a shimmery glittery black and you also get a matte black in there as well you get loads of bright colors um you got your pinks you got your reds up here so it is generally like really hard to like come out with reds and how pigmented that is like they're stunning the shades the color payoff is so worth it and then over in this section over here you get like a neutral theme going on so you can get like a wide range of looks from this palette so even with pricing i don't think they're too expensive either um especially for like the size that you get i mean look at how big this palette actually is and how much colors you actually get in there i just think it's really really good for, like for the money that you're paying i think this one i actually got this in sale i think i got it for about 30 pounds this palette so that was a bargain and then i have the 35 i icy fantasy palette here also this one has more of like softer shades in there there's not that much dark shades they look dark but they don't really come out that dark if you get what i mean so you can't really do more of like a deep look with this palette um this palette i would usually use for like mixing with other palettes um it's a great mixer palette that's what i'll call it but i love all of the soft shades in here and you get a few duochrome shades in here which are so pretty as well 
um, hopefully it will focus so this is the white one and that's the green like I love the green one's my favorite shade from this palette like out of all of these colors I love this shade oh dear this shade right here I love this shade and then also like the previous morphe palette you also get like a glitter shade in here as well like that is super metallic like obviously you can kind of um, when you apply it you can kind of spread it out so it actually looks like glitter or you can just shit or you can just apply it um, full on pigmented like this to get a full on metallic look the only thing I don't like about the Morphe palettes is this like this is just extra for me but the only reason why I've kept it is because it's got the shade names on here um, which is really irrelevant to my life it's not like I use the names of the shades anyway but now that they're on here and not actually on the palette I kind of feel like I need to keep this but this I feel like is really useless and irrelevant and pointless I'd rather they just put the names of the shades on the actual palette itself so I can just throw this away but obviously because the names are on there I now have to keep it why I need to know the names I don't know so I have a few more palettes that I like to share and it's the Norvina volume 1 and volume 2 palette so this is what they look like I still keep the original boxes because I like to be a bit of a neat freak but with my volume one right there I feel like my dog stepped on this palette so it's kind of chipped it a bit but it's okay it's the inside what counts and this palette is just stunning I feel like the colors in here it's so um, wearable like they look like they won't be, but once you actually blend them together, blend them in, they blend out so beautifully, by the way, like a professional blend. So with the Morphe palettes, I feel like that's more of like an affordable range um, where you still get great pigment, you get great shimmers, great glitters, but more of like at an affordable price. But with this palette, you really do get what you pay for. Like you feel like it is a professional palette, like the shades in here, are so creamy so blendable and the pigmentation is just I've never actually experienced pigment like this in any other palette and then this is the volume 2 palette so this one is a lot more blue than the other palette as you can see um, it has loads of loads of bright colors so with this one um, obviously you'd be doing a lot more colorful looks with this palette but then you still get the black and you get a brown in here as well uh, which is great and then with the shimmer shades I feel like you can kind of um, make it into like a natural look as well but you don't really get a wide selection um, of natural looks from this palette you can only do more of like bright colorful in your face kind of eyeshadow looks with this but the colors are still so creamy so blendable with um, this palette like it feels it's hard to describe it literally feels like cream but it's not Kind of melting it's so weird to explain but that's the pigmentation that you get from that let me just do a shimmer shade i'll just do this blue one so oh. so this is the shimmery blue if you'll focus look at that with these novena palettes you literally feel like you're getting professional eyeshadows because the anastasia beverly hill shadows usually like they're amazing anyway so if you think that those were great imagine trying this palette the quality on these palettes is insane even though they are quite expensive it's about 70 pounds i would say roughly for these palettes 68 pounds just round it up to 70 70 pounds for these palettes but you still get quite a lot of colors um i don't think you get as much of the morphe but you still get quite a lot of colors but the quality is what you're actually paying for and the packaging is quite a sturdy palette I love the packaging and also you get this massive huge mirror over here as well so another eye product that I love to use is the P Louise base so this is her base in rumor 2 um, I have it in rumor 4 as well which is a little bit more of like my skin tone and the other ones that you need to try you need to try these these are the P Louise and Mama Mitchell acid rain collection um, these are the paints so it's more of like an intense version of her bases but these ones last um, so much more 
um, longer than the actual base is. And with these ones, you can uh, pop eyeshadows, glitters, or shimmers on top as well. But it really gives a more intense kind of base. Um, I love to use the blank canvas to cut my crease. Um, but this is a shade Glow Girl. So this one's more of like a pinky shade. It's a it's the darker pink of the collection and it looks like that that is super intense so you can use it like eyeliner eyeshadow whatever you want you can cut the crease you can add eyeshadows pigments glitter on top of this as well and these last a really really long time I'll just quickly show you what the blank canvas looks like so this is the one that I love to use when I'm doing a more dramatic look and I'm really 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 going in there with my cut crease and this is a shade blank canvas and I just love to use this to really cut my crease as you can see it's more of like a skin tone what is lighter than my skin tone but it really makes the colors stand out like whatever color you put on top of this one it will really make it stand out because it is quite of a lighter base but the staying power of these paints are amazing like they do not budge the other thing that she did release as well are her metallic um, bases. Um, let me just show you quickly if I remember where I put it. Uh, so I have one here. So this is um, the P. Louise metallic base. Um, she recently came out with this and these are another one of my favourites. Um, they're exactly like the bases. They're really, really, well the paints, they're exactly like the paints. Um, they're really strong, they last such a long time and they are super pigmented. So this is a silver one, um, this one is called, I don't know what this one is called, You're Glowing. So this one is in the shade You're Glowing, it took me a while to find that but alright so I'm just going to squeeze some here on the back of my hand you only need a teeny tiny amount of this as well you can already see how metallic that looks right now and I'm just going to spread that down and look at that that is so pigmented so beautiful so stunning look at that so these are about 14 pounds I believe um, but P. Louise she also on her website she also um, has quite a lot of discounts and sales on quite often so you can usually get these for about 10 pounds they're a lot more smaller than her actual base let me just get a normal size because the other base that I showed you was like a pro so this is a normal size for her bases that she does and this is the size of the metallic base. It's kind of similar to her paints. Um, actually, um, yeah, it's kind of similar to her paints, but the paint is slightly bigger. Like the tube is just a little bit longer than the metallic base, but they are pretty small. But then again, you only need a teeny tiny amount of these. But honestly, if I'm doing any type of eye look, I always use this as a base and then I'll cut my crease with any one of um, the other three that I just showed you, whatever one I feel like goes with the look, I'll use that. Sometimes I'll use this as well, but I don't feel like this is strong enough to cut the crease, um, like really cut the crease. It's okay for more of like a natural look, but I feel like the paints, they do a much more better job at really kind of defining um, the crease line than this one. This one I like to use more of as like an eyeshadow base. So something that my eyeshadow can really like grip onto and it really kind of pulls out the color as well. So another thing I feel like I need to mention with this eye base is that once you apply it, um, it will crease just let it crease apply your eyeshadow like normal and there won't be any more creases after that i don't think this works well if you apply it and then set it with a powder and then apply your eyeshadows um i feel like it works so much more better if you just apply it leave it alone let it do its thing if it creases it creases so what just go in with your eyeshadow as usual and there won't be any creases whatsoever it's just when the product is still a bit wet it can crease but that's nothing to kind of put this product down about because it does an amazing job at holding up your eyeshadow okay so that was it for like the makeup products um i'm gonna move on to more of like the nighttime skincare um, products so I like to go in with a mask um, maybe like two 
two times a week, once a week, depends if I remember. So this is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Pore Refining Face Mask. This stuff is actually really good. It is again pricey, I can't remember how much it is, I think it's around £40, something like that, £39, £35, um, between that price range. But this actually is quite, I don't want to say strong as in like harsh, but strong as in it does what it claims to do. Um, I've used quite a bit of it. Once this actually dries, it does turn like fully white. Um, it kind of works similar to the Glam Glow um, Mud Mask. So the one where it kind of pulls out your oils, it does something similar to that. Um, this one also has vitamin A in there. So it's great for like really like rejuvenating your skin, brightening any wrinkles, anything like that. There was another mask I was going to mention. It was the Base Lift. This is the Indian Eraser Clay Mask. So I recently been using this for like I think over two months. Um, when I first apply this mask, like it feels really really great. Like it gives that pulsating sensation, that throbbing kind of feeling. Like it's really working into your skin and pumping the blood flow. Um, this one kind of like it does like a similar thing as well. But with this one, it's so difficult, I feel, to take off. I feel like once this stuff dries, it's like cement. It's so hard to budge. But I feel like my skin actually goes quite red um, after I take this off. Not only from trying to take it off, but I feel like it kind of burns my skin a little bit because my skin stays red um, a little bit into like the next day. Um, I can still kind of see where I've kind of applied the mask and I feel like this one's strong but not in a good way whereas this one's strong but in a good way like it will kind of really um, nourish and help your skin and this one I feel like it really strips your skin and then I feel like I see more of the brightening benefits from this mask um, whereas this one because this one just makes my face look red afterwards and this one my skin is clear and actually bright super easy to take this one off as well like I just use my um, damp uh, face halo I run it under like warm to hot water and then I just wipe it over my face and it's so easy to actually take this off and this one I just feel like I'll be rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and it just makes my skin look red and raw so this one does say that it's a four-in-one formula it's an instant detox mask to tighten pores invigorate a dull complexion and instantly boost radiance so this one actually does everything that it claims to do i feel like my pores look smaller my skin feels tighter um not in a drying way um but yeah my skin feels tighter and my face actually looks a lot more brighter and radiant and a little bit of like that glow as well okay so for my last product um it's the glow recipe watermelon sleepy mask so because i use tretinoin it's um really drying and my skin tends to flake the next morning when i wake up i'll get like flaky patches this stuff really helps um, to keep my skin hydrated throughout the night and I don't get that many like dry patches um, sometimes I hardly even get any dry patches and I really feel like I wake up with like plumper um, fresher looking skin every time I do use this at night and also this is another product where a little bit goes a long way you only need a little bit of this and it spreads so nicely all over your face I believe this one you can actually use it as a mask as well so you just apply like a generous thick layer onto your face, um, rinse it off um, after 10 minutes and you'll get like a really nice plump healthy like glowing complexion. So I prefer to just um, spread a layer of this all over my face and then just go to sleep with it. That's how I prefer to use it. I haven't actually tried using this as a mask. So I used to use this every night but you can use it as little as once a week if you like and you still kind of get the same benefits. It's really really moisturising. Um, like I said I use tretinoin that's why my skin needs the extra moisturisation. Any hydration that it can get um, and this is great for it like it really quenches my skin. Also I'm like the type of person that is so bad at drinking water but this actually helps to keep your skin looking like you've been drinking like two liters a day really really freshens up your skin and i love this product and also the smell 
is so fresh and fruity and gorgeous every time all of their products actually smell really really nice like the pineapple sea serum um the moisturizer i can't remember what the moisturizer smells like i think it's watermelon as well this is a watermelon so i think all of the products whatever it says that the recipe is like avocado banana like it smells exactly like what it is meant to smell like and it's such a fresh scent as well and again with this one um like i said you only need a little tiny amount of this one and it spreads so well throughout the skin it's kind of like jelly but it's not jelly like you're supposed to be mixing this it did come with a spatula i've lost the spatula so what i do is i know it's kind of unhygienic or whatever but because this is mine and i'm the only one using it i'm allowed to do it so i just kind of like do one dip and then that is it that one dip like enables me to spread it all over my whole entire face like that's how moisturizing this actually is it kind of feels a little bit um not slippery like let's just say it's easy to glide across your face okay guys so that was it for my mini favorites video i don't feel like there was a lot of products in this video that's why i'm gonna call it my mini favorites um i managed to sneak in a couple of products that i didn't really get along with as well um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video comment like share subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys